Stay tuned after this quick lesson to hear the instructor's comments. Do you ever just sit and wonder sometimes, Shane, why are you even talk? How would that ever get broke? Why are you even bringing this up? How? How's that ever get broke? Disassemble. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Storage, usually. A lot of times people take this stuff and they put it in a box. I've had people break stuff as they transport it to my shop or they take it apart and they go, ah, I don't want to do this. And they're bringing the whole carburetor body in a box sitting on this little piece of plastic. So listen to me on this. Pay attention. This is every mechanic should know. Every single little piece needs 100% of your attention. Not 20, not 50. It needs 100% of your attention. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to look at it in all directions and look for some inconsistencies, a broke finger to see if it's twisted or anything else. The other thing I want you to notice here that I think we showed in disassembly but we'll review is the fact that this is what holds that needle down into the slide and you can see the lips there for the spring. So it's your job to make sure all this is here. The needle itself, these are really prone to being damaged, especially on dirt bikes and four-wheelers where someone takes out the whole slide assembly to pull an engine and just leaves this attached to the throttle cable. Remember when we took our dirt bike engines out, what did we do to this? Wrapped them. Uh, we wrapped them and then we zip tied them to the frame so that they wouldn't get banged around. So you need to protect that. Okay. If that were bent, it would be flopping around on the bench. Okay, so. In this Every Mechanics video, we're really focusing on how important it is when we store parts and we take for granted, you know, how we take those tiny little carburetor parts and how we put them in a box or a plastic tote or whatnot and that we can just create more problems. You know, when we disassemble something to service it or repair it or whatnot, it's our job that we have to have the integrity of how we, you know, treat those pieces. And, and think about that too, like for people that work in parts departments, you know, how do you put stuff on shelves? You know, you get it brand new in a package and you're stacking them, you have to really have some intent or think about what you're doing there and just what the consequences are. Another item that's often uh, damaged in storage is this guy. And any of us techs have been around a long time know how many stators we've uh, replaced due to the fact that somebody brings in a project and they say, well, I took this apart you know, a few years ago, put it back together. And this stator is a real common one to be damaged just from the fact it sat in a box. Took a heavy engine case and set it on top of that. I mean, you ruined a perfectly good part. And then the customer's pissed off because they're like, hey, it worked when I took it apart. Hey, if you do not understand the theory of this, if you haven't you know, uh, dove into your craft and figured this works, I mean, for this example, this is one wire. It looks like a bunch of wires, but it's one wire. If you nick one of these, it ruins the whole stator. I just want you to think. I want you to think about whether it's a small piece, a big piece, you know, how do we store it? You know, think about the weight that we're putting on top of it. And then also when we install it, it's our job to make sure that we check all of it, not just one side of it and think, okay, it's good. We have to check tops, bottoms, you know, uh, on those small carburetor pieces, you know, guys and gals, let's just think about it. Get some magnifying glasses out, get some, uh, you know, light on there and just be diligent in your work and be great and keep wrenching.